Hello artists, today we're going to start assembling your coat of arms. So I'm going to get that pin out, just push and pull and close it. We always close it when it is not in use. I'm keeping it with my plan so I don't lose it. Okay, this is your coat of arms. Now I do have a stencil that we can trace where we just lay it down towards the top and we can take some chalk, whatever color shows up best on your cloth color and we can use that to draw. The reason we're using chalk and not something else is the chalk will rub off eventually so we won't see the lines. And then time to cut on the line. And your scraps are good and we can use these. Don't get rid of them. We have scraps, lots of scraps in a box. So you will pick out a few colors to get started. And we'll still need some chalk the whole time we're working because we're using that to draw our designs. So it's best to work with big things first or the things at the back first. Like my paintbrush is on top. I don't want to do that right now. I want to do the paint palette first. So I've got a scrap here for my paint palette and large and in charge. I want it to be big and we're drawing with chalk. One more time, we do that because the chalk will wipe off. All right, when cutting, I have some students who say, my scissors can't cut. Remember, it's Mr. Alligator. We're using the back of his jaws, not taking little nibbles at the front. So even these little scissors here are capable of cutting felt. As long as I am using the back. And if I want a hole missing, because I do want that hole there, that's where the thumb goes. You can always fold your cloth to get holes. Then time to glue. And I have a couple types of glue bottles depending on where you are. The orange one, you just twist the top, scratch his head to make sure nothing is stuck. And then listen to see if it breathes. If it breathes, we're good. On this kind, I just have this little red stopper on top. There's nothing to open. These also come out a little bit faster so we have to be very careful. I'm going to set it to the side and when I put the glue on leave space between the glue and the edge. Did I put glue in the middle? No, I just put it on the edges and around my little hole and press firmly. Sometimes you have to pre-measure things to see where they will fit. When you have objects that need to work together, like the end of my paintbrush, you may need to lay them on here. And this is to check and make sure it's gonna be the right size. You need to add additional details that are small or they're meant to be fine lines. That's where scrap yarn comes in handy. So you draw the shape that you want, the line that you want with the glue and take the yarn and gently tap it in. <laughs> 